Reach wisdom. Have you ever had a time when you wanted to help someone, but your efforts were fruitless because the person wasn't willing to help themselves? Even as a kind and compassionate person who wants to make a positive change in the world, sometimes our good intentions may not be enough to help those who are stuck in their own problems. But why does this happen? In this video, we're going to look at nine types of people who you try to help. But for various reasons, they don't want to accept help. These are people who, for various reasons, are stubborn, defensive, or ungrateful when you try to intervene. The knowledge in this video can save you energy on those who are not ready to change. Be sure to stay tuned to the end because the last type is not only hard to identify, but can make you rethink your entire approach to helping others. Prepare for some insights. Egocentrics who ignore others. Dealing with self-centered people can be very tiring and emotionally draining. They absorb enthusiasm, interrupt your joy with their complaints, and show no interest in your complaints, and show no interest in your accomplishments. This can make you feel unloved, uninterested, or even unnecessary. Egocentrics often don't realize that they are being selfish. They may be genuinely convinced that they care about others, but their behavior suggests otherwise. They can be very manipulative, using guilt or pity to get you to do what they want. If you encounter a self-centered person, it's important to remember that it's not your fault. You can't change their behavior, but you can change your attitude towards it. Opportunists who take advantage. Opportunists who cleverly tap into the flow of empathy override the harmony that this priceless gift brings to human relationships. But there are those who, instead of nobility, see empathy only as an opportunity for personal gain. Under the guise of sincerity and friendship, they skillfully manipulate, leaving you with a sense of emotional ringing. It's important to distinguish real connections from superficial empathy disguises. Resistance to manipulation is not only self-defense, but also a way to preserve your emotional integrity. Be vigilant, guard your boundaries, and tend to your inner balance. Therein lies the key to maintaining harmony within your soul, despite attempts to characterize you as a mere object for their selfish pursuit. Living in illusions, not seeing reality. These people don't just create illusions, they become their captives, losing the ability to distinguish fiction from reality. Wrapped up in their fictional worlds, they refuse to see the obvious preferring to maintain their fantasies. This immersion in their own illusions often prevents them from realizing and dealing with real problems, creating a barrier between them and the world around them. Instead of living real life, they prefer fictional scenarios Unable to see time passing by and reality passing by and reality passing by their closed perception. Their stories, though seemingly interesting, turn out to be mere shadows of real life. And they themselves are lost in their own fictions, unable to recognize what is happening outside their invented world not recognizing mistakes, shifting blame. Refusing to recognize one's own mistakes is like a captain steering a ship without a compass in a storm. This person not only lacks the ability to find the right direction, but also assumes that problems are caused by external factors, regardless of his or her own responsibility. This inability to be self-reflective can lead to not only losing one's way, 
but also to an internal imbalance. It is important to realize that admitting mistakes is not a sign of weakness, but a show of strength that promotes personal growth, better relationships, and harmony, both within us and in our interactions with the world around us. Not preparing for the future, not appreciating opportunities. Watching a loved one not utilizing their talents is like seeing a closed book with unopened stories. This may be due to fear of the unknown, lack of self-confidence, or even fear of failure. Some choose to avoid help because of pride, afraid to admit their vulnerability. Refusing to be prepared for the future is missing the point that today's actions shape tomorrow's success. It is important to support loved ones in stepping with their potential, inspire them to overcome doubts, and inspire them to overcome doubts and inspire confidence in creating their own stories. Help is not offered as a handout, but as support on the journey to a better version of yourself and understanding this can break down the barriers to accepting help. Focusing on the negative, seeing only the bad, watching someone persistently focus on the negative is like seeing the world only in four dark corners. These people are like prisoners of constant discontent, where every conversation becomes a litany of troubles, financial difficulties, financial difficulties, family, conflicts and frustrations at work. They may be surrounded by positive events, but still choose to focus on what is bothering them. This tendency may be due to psychological blocks or a lack of skill in seeing the bright things around them. It's important to remember that steadily wallowing in, negative thoughts can make it difficult to see positive possibilities. Support and understanding can help them change the way they view the world and find joy in the little things. Blaming others, not accepting responsibility. Watching someone persistently blame others is like seeing the world in the shades of someone else's guilt. These people are like masters of passing the buck, always ready to dump their problems on the shoulders of others. It seems to them that every free difficulty is someone else's fault and they are just victims of circumstances. It becomes difficult to intervene in their lives because they are not ready to recognize their own role in causing problems. Support can be helpful, but only if they are willing to look at themselves honestly and accept responsibility for their actions. Denial of blame can be a defense mechanism, but awareness and a willingness to change can help unlock it. People with a sense of self-importance who think everyone owes them. People with a grandiose sense of self-importance believing that the whole world owes them something. These are individuals who cross the road of life with the belief that the world owes them something simply for their existence. They feel as though their rights to privilege are predetermined and they expect special treatment without deserving it. Interacting with such people can be challenging because they are rarely willing to see the world beyond the prism of their ego. Approaching them with support requires balance. Emphasizing the importance of reciprocity and collective responsibility. Sometimes it helps to illuminate that true value lies in contributing to the common good rather than waiting for favors. People unwilling to change, clinging to the old. There are individuals who find it difficult to embrace the new, such as Tom in the office, who stubbornly clings to his usual methods, refusing to adopt new tools that could significantly lighten his workload. In such cases, help can be difficult because resistance to change is often driven by fear of the unknown or loss of familiar stability. 
The approach should include a gentle encouragement to reconsider and take a fresh look at the situation, as well as an understanding that change can bring positive results in the long term. If this video made an impact on you, don't forget to support us by liking and subscribing. Share your thoughts in the comments. As Marcus Aurelius said, the Logos has a plan for us, and we can learn to follow it by studying the wisdom of the Stoics. They were intelligent people who knew how to live well and deal with hardship. Do you want to be like them? Watch the video on the screen to learn how to develop your mind. Next time, we'll reveal even more Stoic wisdom, uncovering knowledge that can change the way you approach the ups and downs of life. Stay curious, stay Stoic. Subscribe to the Reach Wisdom channel.